The urban ministry that I'm involved in is uh, geared to the residents of the neighborhood called Frogtown. It's basically, um, people think of it as the ghetto of uh, Minnesota, but we go there to um, basically revitalize the neighborhood and you know shed the light and shed the love of Christ. We are constructing the house right now. Currently, we are um, taking down houses, building them, painting, a whole bunch of other stuff, helping out neighbors. And uh, we just want to provide assistance in any way as possible, you know, through the gospel. Uh, for the residents of uh, the neighborhood of Frogtown. We do a lot of prayer walks and we, uh, we always have prayer on Thursdays, we have prayer on Mondays, and the whole neighborhood's welcome to that. You know, sometimes we'll have neighbors stop and come and they'll just ask for prayer or they'll come to the house and they, they need a need for something, we're there for them. And so it's just been a real blessing to be a part of that. We're gonna have people living in the house, um, they really wanna live with the residents. They wanna eat, sleep, breathe like everyone else in the neighborhood you know, because people mm -hmm. aren't going to really relate to people who come from wealthier neighborhoods and they'll be like, what do you know about my struggle? Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to be in the neighborhoods with you, so they're going to know just the kind of things you go through. So I'm personally not living in the house. Um, I, I know that the by the end of the construction of the house that we're working on right now, there probably would be around uh, five or six people living in the house. Mm -hmm. We're going to build two houses, one main house for the... Um, the main guy to sleep at and his family, and then a community house for the neighborhood. There's multiple ways I think Alpha could be um, used in our uh, neck of the woods. I definitely do think, you know, inside the house would be perfect, you know what I mean? To make it feel like a homey environment. Or, you know, summertime, you know, just chill out, have a barbecue, and spread the word of God.